Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Culture. This channel will contain those programs whose explanation is either not present on YouTube or the explanation is present but not up to the mark. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's question is the maximum profit in job scheduling which is the daily question of 28th August and it is also a hard level problem. Okay, but with the with my explanation this problem you can solve within five or six minutes okay it will not be going to take much time if you stay concentrated okay so let's start it so what we have to do in this question is that we will be given some starting time as well as end time for each job like for the first job my starting time is this my end time is this three and my profit is 50 and for the second job my starting time is two my end time is four and my profit is 10 okay so what we have to do in this question is that we have to maximize our profit okay so that because well, at the last but when we have to return the profit should be maximum and we cannot do the one job another job if we are doing already one job like here the if i take this job my starting time will be one and i will be busy till three okay so we i can't pick another job at two because i have already picked this job one and it will end at three so we and here it is also given that if we if my job ends at three i will be able to pick another job at three okay so like if i take this job as one and uh, okay and my end time it will be three so i will be free to take another job whose starting time will be three but if the job's starting time is less than three then we can't take it okay so yeah by doing this we have to maximize our profit okay so let's uh, try to understand it in hindi also okay so what i'm saying हमें यहां पे कुछ जॉब्स के स्टार्टिंग टाइम उनके एंड टाइम और उनके प्रॉफिट दिए गए होंगे ओके और हमें क्या करना है हमें अपने प्रॉफिट को मैक्सिमाइज करना है और इसमें क्या कंस्ट्रेंट्स हैं हमारे कंस्ट्रेंट्स ये हैं पहला ये कि अगर हम एक जॉब कर रहे हैं तो हम दूसरी जॉब नहीं कर सकते ओके इसका मतलब क्या है अगर मेरी जॉब 3 बजे खत्म हो रही है तो मैं दूसरी जॉब जो कि 2 बजे से स्टार्ट हो रही है वो नहीं कर सकता क्योंकि मुझे पहले ये जॉब खत्म करनी है और अगर 3 बजे ये खत्म हो रही है तो मैं 3 बजे से ही दूसरी जॉब कर सकता हूं ओके तो yeah, 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 question or my profit go maximize karna hai. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the approach, and we all will be thinking that we can do it with the help of the greedy approach, but we can't. Why we can't? Let's try to analyze first of all why we can't take it with the help of greedy approach. So we can't take the greedy approach because suppose my starting time for the first job is one and my end time is three and profit is ten. Okay, so if we take the greedy approach, then it will take the the first job as it is uh, the only job at the starting time one and it's a uh, profit is maximum among the jobs which is starting at one but it's not the case because if we take the first job we can't take the second job and the profit of the second job is greater than the first job so we have to take the second job in order to maximize our profit so we can't take it with the we can't solve this question with the help of greedy approach and the approach which is now remaining is the dynamic programming because if we have to maximize something there are only two approach the greedy approach as well as the dynamic programming in this dynamic programming we can't be implemented so we have to do it with the help of greedy approach can't be implemented so we have to do it with the help of dynamic programming okay so first how we will do is that first of all i will make an array in which my starting time end time and profit should be in the same array it will be easy to you know um, take out the values from a single array okay and after that what we will do is uh, i will check if okay so first of all let's uh, do this much work and uh, first of all and uh, my array will be in it will be a 2d array let's name it as schedule and uh, new int and what will be its length its length will be the same as the number of jobs and its uh, size will be three starting time and time and profit so first of all let's fill that data in it okay yeah we have to fill the data in the array and how we will fill i will fill schedule i at zero column equal to what starting time starting time so st0 st of i and similarly we will fill the profit and time time and time will be at one and it's a, and it will be i uh, and int in the row in the array and there it will be profit array i and it will be at two okay so this much work is done so let's call the help the function which will return us the value and uh, it will be what name it at helper and it will take first of all it will take a array schedule and then it will, what it will take is it will take our uh, int like what is the time the last time of the job and what okay sorry schedule and uh, zero which is our end time and 
the index at which our which job we are doing okay so yeah we are doing the zeroth job and its previous int point is let's suppose it as zero and yeah with the help of these three we will be able so state in helper hmm. and our what will be the parameters here schedule our end point and our index hmm. okay so when we will terminate this loop if if what if my schedules if my index equal to schedule schedule dot length it means what it means that i have come out of the array and all my jobs are completed all my jobs not the jobs which we have to do to maximize our profit are completed so we will return zero otherwise otherwise if my end point of the previous job is greater than the starting point of this we can't do the job okay so if the end point is greater than the schedule index of zero okay i think that you must be understanding this point like uh, if my next jobs starting point is less like my job which i am doing currently its end time is four and four okay so this jo that job will index four and now if the jobs the another jobs index is starting point is Two. we can't do the job whose starting point is to as i am busy till four okay so in this case what we will do i will again call the helper function pass schedule and my end point will be same and my index will increase okay otherwise otherwise what otherwise i will return math dot max okay math dot max what helper and if I will take this job, my profit, I will add the profit. And how I will add the profit? I will add the profit by schedule index to a column. Okay. Plus, if I'm taking this, then what? Then my helper in my helper, I will pass schedule and my end point now. If I'm taking this job, my end point will become the end point of this job. And the end point of this job will be schedule index 1. I hope that you must be understanding. I will explain it once more. Okay. And my end point will be, it will be this and my index will increase. Okay. Yes. Otherwise what? Otherwise I will not take it. And my, if I will not take it, my, it will be this. Yeah. So do in index plus one. Hmm. Okay. I think that uh, it is enough and uh, this one okay yeah one thing i have to sort my array on what basis on the basis of my starting point okay because uh, yeah i think that it is quite understandable that uh, the starting the array should be sorted on the basis of the starting point how and how we will sort it with the help of java 8 and uh, i will explain this java 8's lambda function separately so don't worry okay and here what i will do is uh, i am simply sorting this on the basis of its first uh, first column yeah first column and what is in first column it's my starting point okay so i think that it uh, yeah this code should run and then i will try to make it better okay i will try to make this code better Excellent. Mm -hmm. okay so what i am doing the mistake here let me check. okay yeah i have forgot to return this value here and that's why it is not uh, it was not running and uh, it was only taking this this return and not this okay i think it should run yeah it is running but now i will try to um i mean increase its uh, working and efficiency i will try to increase its efficiency and how i will increase it okay so first of all check this out i am running it once and i am again running it here yeah i'm calling this function twice suppose i've called this function here once and it has done its value it has done its work and it has go upward and upward i think that you must be understanding and here also i'm again calling it and it will do the same work again so in order to do it only once i will use the dp here okay so i am i will make it as integer dp equal to new D okay so integer array and int array the in integer then default values are null so we can easily check it out 
but in the int i have to fill it by minus one so you can take any of them and here dp the okay yeah and here also teaser dp okay so i think you must have got the point that i have calling i'm calling this function two times and to, in order to call it once i will store its value at this time only i will store this value in the array and if this function is called again i will simply return its value okay so yeah how we will do it is uh, yeah so at the last i will check what i will check and i will check if my dp index not equal to null not equal to null means its value is already filled and if it is filled i it is not required to calculate it again we will simply return dp of index okay otherwise okay so let me add it here also and where i am storing the value i am storing the value here of index equal to okay so yeah that's it was the only thing which was requiring the modification and it will, i think it should run again okay not a statement tp index at line 21 oh yeah i forgot the bracket okay so let me explain it once more if i let me check first of all it is not running again mm -hmm. oh sorry yeah. now it will run i can't bet i mm -hmm. return sorry i'm not returning here that was the only problem else everything was correct Oh, oh sorry i'm not pausing the dp here again and uh, yeah i'm trying to be a bit quick but what i'm doing is silly mistakes okay so please forgive me and uh, it will run now it's my bet yeah it's running and uh, let's try to submit it and then i will explain it once again that's yeah, accepted so what i'm trying to do here is uh, that uh, this function is being called two times here also and here also so what we i will do is i will store its value if after this com completing of this function i will try to store it in the dp index and once this function is called again here i will check if it is stored in the dp index or not if it is stored then yes it's i will return it otherwise i will okay so yeah that's it that was today's explanation hope you have liked it if you have enjoyed this explanation and was able to solve it then i think the channel must deserve a subscribe so please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you never miss any update and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will be replying all of you and till then keep on coding and uh, stay happy and jai hind bye